Chapter 2 of the official manual covers the seven principles and the following treatment here is comprehensive. We shan't need to look at the principles again other than to mention them each time they occur in context. Chapter 2 of the manual tells us PRINCE2 is a method-based approach which we can use with confidence on projects of any scale, type, organisation, geography and culture because of its universal and proven principles. The manual says that it is not the use of the processes and the document templates that makes a project a PRINCE2 project. A project properly implements PRINCE2 when it follows the seven principles and it properly implements it when it follows them with pragmatic adherence to their spirit. 100% slavish use or just lip service are both inappropriate. The principles start with the business case. A PRINCE2 project requires a justifiable reason to start that remains valid throughout the life of the project or the project should be stopped and the resources reallocated to more worthwhile activity. The justification may evolve but must remain valid and the project must evolve to match. Even if the project's trigger is compulsory, such as legislative compliance, a valid justification of the results sought and the approach taken is still necessary. The justification is documented in a business case that follows corporate standards, is approved by the project board and subject to change control. The business case drives all decision making to ensure that the project is always aligned to the business objectives and the benefits being sought. Sound use of this principle improves the consistency, integration and total value of the portfolio of corporate projects. Principle number two is about learning from experience. Project teams use previous experience or lessons which are sought, recorded and acted upon throughout the life of the project. Lessons are not learned until observations and records made provoke change behaviours and different attitudes in project participants. Because projects bring together people to work for a short period of time on novel problems in unfamiliar relationships, project success is more challenging than typically encountered by line managers and functional units. Previous similar activities often provide lessons that could be applied to planning and executing of a new project and its stages. A project team should always look for lessons from external and internal sources. As the project progresses, the team should continue to learn from their own and other sources of experience. The project management team must include their own experience in all reports and reviews and implement improvements during the project. When a stage or project closes, lessons should be passed on. It is the responsibility of everyone involved within the project to seek and apply lessons and not wait for somebody else to provide them. That's the first two principles. Let's now look at the next two. 